Day one day in a white girl, I don't give a f I'm trying this out because I don't discriminate. I penetrate on my mama. And for all my ops that's watching this, you a one week day no white girl. She seasons her chicken with just salt. I am terrified. Call the food police. We've been eating cheese and crackers and wine for three nights in a row. I am starving. My stomach is in my ass. Somebody help. Two weeks day no white girl. I invited her to my family reunion, but my uncles didn't say, hey, I'll see you, nephew. So I felt kind of sad. But we did teach her how to do the Cupid Shuffle, so that's progress. One month day no white girl, and we just left a Billie Eilish concert, and now she's going to make green bean casserole. Oh, suck it. Yes, the night just keeps getting better. Six months dating a white girl. We got yoga at eight, brunch at 12, and we're going to go to Yosemite Park later on. Mm, pumpkin spice latte for the win every time. This is one year dating a white girl. She's my sugar plum honey butter. This is the absolute happiest I've been in my life. Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So kind. You guys already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a quick favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. <laughs> Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, oh man, there's some people here that just won't learn. Some people are so thick-headed, so hard-headed, they just have to go back and touch the fire again to make sure it's hot. Okay, Thomas Brady. Thomas Brady has now been reportedly seen his ex-wife, Giselle, again. Looks like they're going to kiss and make up. <laughs> I'm like, what the f***? Tom, sir, it's not going to get any better, sir. It's not going to get any better. I know you got kids, and you're going to be there for the kids and all that, but it's not going to get any better. If y'all already divorced, stay divorced. Y'all might want to kick it every now and then, but don't go back, sir. That's a straight L. Jesus Christ, what are these guys doing? Now, you didn't go through your cooling off period. You you, you saw Giselle was uh, interacting with her jujitsu instructor, and they was having fun and all that. And you want to do the same. You want to move on also. So you went and started dating young girls. Aww. And you already saw young girls who was trying to come after you for your money and for your, your status. And it didn't look good for you. You was trying to get a relationship quick. Because I see that you're a relationship type of guy. But you did not cool off. You needed a cool off period. Three to five years of cooling off. I'm not saying not to smash and not to go on dates. But don't get into a serious relationship. Especially with a young girl like that. You went to You went through two young models that you was dating, you know what I'm saying? And you try to keep up with Giselle. Giselle was, you know, having her cheeks clapped by a jiu-jitsu guy. Wow. But after that that was done, you saw it was hard for her to get another guy. It's hard for these uh, women with money to get another guy, to get another status, to get another Tom Brady. So she was getting bored and you was getting bored with these young girls. Sir, you did not cool off. And now you're going right back into the fire. Good Lord. That Giselle boy, she's already known to be a witch. She's already known to do in the witchcraft, a Brazilian witchcraft. And she got you, bro. She put something in your spaghetti. <laughs> you don't know. Just to break it off with her. Cool off. Go do something. Go be a commentator. Go start a podcast. Something. Do something about football related. Go be a coach. And just don't be in a relationship for a couple of years, three to five years. Cool off. But no, you're a relationship type of guy. You're, uh, it seems like you're codependent. You got a codependency problem, problem. And you went right back to her. I mean, it's not even been two years. And remember, she started this. She's, she wanted you to quit football. Bye bye. She wanted you to, to, uh, 
stop what you're doing and come back to the house and take out trash or take the kids out to school. Knowing that you're Tom Brady, the GOAT of football, she knows all this about you, but she wanted you to be spending more time with the kids. Now that you're retired, now she sees that, you know, her life is boring. She sees that she can't get another Tom Brady. And now she's asking you to come back. Like I said, I think she did a little, you know, one of those uh, voodoo magic on you, Tom Brady. And you right back under that spell. You right back under that trance. You right back into the house. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, sir, if you like it, I love it. The hell do I know? I'm just a driver. If you guys got any value of my content, do me a quick favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. You see the notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. Tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. So next time, I'll see you again. And all you Patriot fans, get off my lawn.